Hello there, I am Mehmet Alkush. In this video, we will solve one problem in chapter 9. Ballistic Pendulum An 8 gram bullet with an initial speed V penetrates into a 5 kg thick bar of wood, proceeds a little and comes to rest inside the bar. As a result, the bar plus bullet system moves to the side, goes up a vertical distance of h 2.2 cm. A. Calculate V, the initial speed of the bullet. In all collisions, the total linear momentum of the system is conserved. So, the linear momentum conservation for the bullet bar collision we have for the positions 1 to 2, initial total momentum equals final total momentum of the system. Initially, we have only the linear momentum of the bullet, that is, m times v. Finally, we have the linear momentum of the total system, that is, bar plus bullet, with the formula m plus capital M times capital V. Note that V in the figure is the common velocity of the bar plus bullet system just after the collision. Since this is an approximately one-dimensional collision, we can use the positive and negative signs for the directions of the velocities. By this mean, we have vector capital V as positive capital V and vector small v as positive small v. Therefore, for the bullet bar collision, we have m times v equals small m plus capital M times capital V. From this, we obtain an expression for the initial speed of the bullet, that is small v equals small m plus capital M times capital V over small m. Now, if we write the mechanical energy conservation for the rise of the bar, that is for positions 2 and 3, that is for the events 2 and 3, we have initial mechanical energy equals final mechanical energy of the system. This is to say that the sum of the initial potential and kinetic energies equals the final potential and kinetic energies of the system. If we take the bottom level as the zero gravitational potential energy level, therefore the potential energy of the system at position 2 becomes zero. The initial kinetic energy of the system is written to be one half m plus capital M times capital V squared, and final potential energy of the system is m plus capital M times g times h because the system is height h above the bottom level. And the final kinetic energy of the system at position three is zero because the final velocity is zero. Here, the term M plus capital M is cancelled. Therefore, we obtain a formula for the capital V as square root of 2 times G times H. If we put this expression into the initial speed of the bullet, we obtain small v equals small m plus capital M over small m times square root of 2 times G times H. Now, we put the numerical values into this equation. As a result, we obtain the initial speed of the bullet as 411.07 meters per second. Or in three digits, it is approximately 411 meters per second. B. Find the loss in the kinetic energy of the bullet due to the collision. Where does this energy loss go? Initial kinetic energy of the bullet is one half m times v squared. With the numerical values, 
it is calculated to be 675.91 joules. After the collision, the velocity of the bullet is capital V. Therefore, the final kinetic energy of the bullet is 1 half m times capital V squared. Since capital V is square root of 2 times g times h, we obtain 1 half m times 2 times g times h. Twos are cancelled, then we obtain m times g times h for the final kinetic energy of the bullet. Now insert the numerical values into this equation. As a result, the final kinetic energy of the bullet is Finally, if we use the formula for the loss in the kinetic energy of the bullet due to the collision and insert the numerical values, we obtain 675.908 joules. Or in 5 digits, we obtain approximately 675.91 joules. As you see, nearly all of the kinetic energy of the bullet is used up. All this energy went into breaking the wooden bar apart and a very huge friction obstructing the bullet in its way within the wooden bar. Ok, this is the end of the discussion of this problem. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.